Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. Hello, welcome. Um, today I just wanted to do a typical kind of fall warm toned makeup. Um, it's kind of warm, it's kind of cool, it's weird. Um, you'll see what I'm using though. I am featuring the Wayne Goss Amber Palette, which I've never used on my channel. I do have some like newer blushes. This is the Dior and Rosewood. Um, I have the Merit eyeshadow in Vachetta. So if you wanted to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so remember how I said I thought I was getting sick? Sick. So whew, let's try to put this face together. I've already done my foundation. I used the Glossier stretch foundation in the shade light 2. Um, I did go in on top of that with the Givenchy Prisma Libre powder. Uh, brows I did, I just used the 24 hour brow setter with the CoverGirl soft blonde pencil and then the NYX lift and snatch pencil pen, sorry, in blonde. So even though I pick blonde, look how dark it is still. It's like I just can't get these brows lighter. I think I just need to go with lighter shades, but I don't think there are lighter shades. Um, concealer, I use the Gucci concealer in the shade uh, 16C Fair. And then bronzer, I use the uh, List bronzer in the shade Motivate. And then I use the House Labs bronzer as well in the shade light level two. So that's what I've done so far. And that's it. So now we're gonna go in with the Dior Rosy Glow Blush and this is in the shade Rosewood. I think this is just perfect for this time of year, especially. I am wearing a shirt, you just can't see it. Look at how much the color changes. This is the color in real life, but then I go like this why i hate this because this is the color i want it to be this but every time every time i'm filming the color changes and i hate it anyway i'm gonna go in with rosewood just using the makeup by mario brush this is the f2 I also love the, I'm sure you know, the Chanel blushes, the newest ones, but they are sold out. So I'm going to try to not use them as much in videos. I don't know if they're sold out in the US, but on the Chanel Canada site, I did see that they're sold out. And same with on the Holt Renfrew Canada site. So... If they are still available, let me know, and then I can let everybody else know where to find them. Um, oh yeah, I also use the... Sorry, my nose is so plugged. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's really annoying. Um, I also use the uh, primer, the Kelly Ray So Blown Primer. And then the NYX Matte Setting Spray. This one here, I probably should have done it after the blush, but I don't know what I was thinking. And then I'm not sure which highlighter I wanna use. That's the blush. We'll just blend it out a little bit. So my fiance and I have finally started wedding planning and it's already making me stressed out. Everything is so expensive and I'm afraid. I am afraid. Sorry, I'm just going to clip these because my hair is not, not agreeing with me today. 
But yeah, if you have any ideas, I thought like a tent would be nice, but then my mom said tents are really hot and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know, I always thought a tent would be so pretty. Going in with the House Labs highlight, this is in the shade Peach Quartz. And I am going to use a palette that I've never used on my channel. I've talked about it, but I've actually never used it. And it is still available. And I think it's literally the perfect fall palette. This is really pretty. The only thing is, if you don't like kind of micro glitter, there is tiny micro glitter particles in this highlight. Just be aware of that. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Wayne Goss Amber Palette. I feel like not a lot of people talked about this, and I don't know why, and I wonder if it's because... Sorry. I wonder if it's because... I don't know why actually because there's a lot of sorry my camera shaking if it's because there's a lot of similar shades in it like there are two that are pretty similar to each other but besides that I don't know why people wouldn't because it's beautiful but I'm also going to use the Merit uh, solo shadow in the shade Vachetta so I'm going to go in with this first I actually already used I didn't mean to I didn't think this through I used my uh MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, but that's fine. We'll go over it with this. And Vachetta is a really nice kind of warm... tone, kind of like this, I guess, kind of tone. And sorry, I think there was like a fluff or something on my brush. And these do really set down. Once they're set, they're set. And I haven't had any issues with this creasing. So I think you'd be good all day, even if you have oily lids. I watched one person who said they had creasing. I can't remember who. And I think the reason they had creasing is because they used a product over top of it as well that was sparkly. Maybe it was Blair. I can't remember. Simply dot Blair. I'm not a hundred percent, so don't quote me on that. But I haven't experienced any creasing or anything of this with the shadow. So just even that on its own is super pretty. And I don't really feel like I even needed to blend it really. I did want to try the green one, but and these click, you hear that click? So you know that it's really like locked in. Why can't my video be this color? It looks so washed out when the color changes. Anyway, I'm gonna get over it, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, let's go in with this beauty. Like it's so pretty, I don't know why it's not talked about very much. Maybe because these two colors are similar, I don't know, but they're beautiful. So I'm going to go in the crease with this guy here. And I also watch uh, Nikki LaRose. I'm sure a lot of people probably watch her videos. And she is going to be doing a Wayne Goss, a full face of Wayne Goss video. So I'm excited to see that and to see what she does with this palette. I, I think this is the palette she picked up. Her video was kind of going so fast, but it showed everything she was adding to her cart. And I was like, oh, I hope she adds amber because this is the only shadow palette I have from Wayne Goss, which I don't know why, because they're very beautiful. I've always wanted smoky quartz and I still haven't picked it up, but now I feel like I have so many shades that are similar. It's like, do I need it? I mean, I don't need any makeup at all because I have so much that I have to get through. But, yeah. Okay, so that is that middle shade still. Just blending that out. And again, just this 
these two shades on their own, super similar, but these two shades on their own could be the whole eye look with just a nice kind of winged liner, I think would be super pretty. But for video's sake, we're not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go in with the shade here. I've never used this just all over the lid. Usually I go in with these two in the crease, but we'll see what happens. Not much. It has just a tiny bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you could see that, but there is the tiniest amount of sheen in that shadow. So now I think we're going to go in the inner corner with that lightest shade. Sorry, this one. And is this light enough to go in the inner corner? I think so. Maybe not. Usually I put this all over the lid, but I think it might be okay. I think it's okay. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade. I've never used this shade yet. I don't know why, but I haven't. I'll go in with just this. This is a random brush. Morphe 453. And it's just like a little pointed. So we'll go in the crease just a tiny bit with that shade. So that's just adding a little bit more warmth. And then what I think we're gonna do after that is go in with that burgundy shade. And the burgundy, I'm not gonna use on my outer corner. I'm actually gonna use it as liner. It's kind of like a burgundy red. Not a tiny bit more of that warmth. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. Change the color to what it actually looks like. Okay. So now let's go in and i didn't realize this actually has a little bit of sparkle to it too just very light it's not this one's more of like a sheen you can see it has that kind of shine to it um these two are completely matte and same with this one this one does have a tiny bit of sparkle you can see and then this one is of course a nice kind of glittery pinky shade so I'm actually gonna put that on my lid right now and I like to just dab it kind of right in the middle and this almost gives vibes like the moon dust palette gives that kind of like twinkly effect it looks like it's pretty hard panned but I can still get shadow from it Maybe I just need to do the old tape trick. But if you see, there's that pretty sparkle. And I am going to add, where's my cloth? Beep, almost dropped ya. I am going to add a burgundy liner, which is Alkaline by Urban Decay. This is 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I don't use this very often, but when I do, I always think it looks really pretty. And then we're going to go over that Alkaline shade with that reddish shade. You can just see it's like a berry like a berryish, purpley, burgundy. It's really pretty. I'm not trying to do too thick of a line. I say that and then it's like super thick. I try not to, it just ends up that way. Okay, so now I'm going to 
looking for a specific liner brush. My MAC one is super, super thin. I found it. It's this guy here. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit because I think I might have had really dark shadow on it. Go in with that reddish shade. Do they have names? No, just one, two, three, four, five, six. So number five. And you can see it's that red kind of shade to it and just blend this out. So you can see I'm just going a bit above that liner. Just to give it more of that smudge look. And I think on the waterline, I'm going to do a brown because I don't really want to do the shade in my waterline because I feel like it could, it has the potential of making me look sick, which I am, but I don't want it to make me look more sick. I'm actually, I feel like I'm on the mend now, knock on wood, but Ah, uh, it just sucks. Whenever you're sick and you like can't breathe through your nose, you're like, why did I take being healthy for granted? Honestly. Now I'm gonna go in with this little pencil brush. And I think I'm gonna mix in these kind of brown tones with that burgundy-ish tone. Just a touch of that burgundy. I always have my mouth open, sorry. And I don't have any fallout with these eyeshadow or with these um with these shadows or with the glitter. So I'm just going to get some mascara, do my other eye, get some mascara on, and I will be right back to do the lips. Okay, so mascara is on. I used the One Coat Wow. And then I used um, a little bit of Exhibitionist CoverGirl just on the bottom lashes. I don't know what I want to do for lips. I have literally no idea. I don't really have like good fall lipsticks. Sorry, this is the NYX, <laughs> you know what it is, NYX Nude Beige. I'm just thinking, why do I feel so weak right now? Well, number one, I'm sick still. And number two, I haven't really eaten or drank anything yet. Besides a cookie. So that's not very healthy. Okay, so let's go lips. I have no idea. Like... I don't really want to do a dark lip, like a fall lip, because I feel like it's not going to go with what I'm wearing. Like on my eyes, it's like my eyes are already pretty intense. So I'm not sure. Let's try this. You know I always change my lip like a dozen times. And as you can see, it has some dryness. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. I think I want to add some. Is it in here? I think it's in my other bag. I want to add a tiny bit of the Rare Beauty lipstick. Do I? 
I don't know if I do. I think I do. First, I need to find it. So, is it worthy? This is the one I was looking for. So this one here. It's pretty much the exact same color. But then I wanted to go in with just a tiny, tiny bit of this one here by CoverGirl. This is Dolce de Leche. I use this one quite often too. Ooh, dry. This one is a little bit more moisturizing. What do we think? Change the color here because this is what the color actually looks like. So it's a nice kind of warm eye. And take these out. And I do have some clothing to show as well. I haven't received it yet, so I do want to, I'll probably come back in a couple days to show the clothing. So I might not have the same makeup on, so don't be like, what's going on? That will be why. Just because I'm waiting for a couple things to come in from Abercrombie. And hopefully I like them, otherwise you're not going to see a clothing part. But, yeah, this is the full toned I keep got I keep having to this is the color this is the color that I like I want it to show because this is the color that I am but yeah this is the eye makeup let me know what you think and if you've ever looked at the Wayne Goss palette I just think it's super beautiful definitely my kind of tones and yeah I really, really love it. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the video, which is going to feature a couple outfits. And I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I just want you to quickly see the makeup in a different light because I feel like that makes such a big difference. I just wanted you to see like how warm it actually is in the crease. And then we have that kind of burgundy reddish shade. But yeah, and then that nice kind of twinkly sparkle. Yeah, that's what the makeup actually looks like. All right, so the first article of clothing I want to talk about is just a plain t-shirt. This is from Elwood. I like that on the neck. Oh, I don't know what's on my neck there. I think I burnt myself with my straightener. Um, it's like a little bit like distressed, as you can see. And I just really love the color. I think this was... I'll link it below. I can't remember the name of the color, but it was sold out. All I could get was an extra small, but they are made quite large, so the extra small is good for me. I'll show you how I would pair it. Like, honestly, I live in t-shirts, especially on the weekend, so I thought this one was super cute. But yeah, I will show you how I would kind of dress it up for the weekend. All right, so in the fall, this is like totally my weekend attire. So I have the t-shirt underneath. I do have a little hoodie, or I guess an oversized hoodie from TNA. I think it's the boyfriend. I'll link it. Um, and then this was just from Dynamite. This isn't new. I got this last year, but I'm sure you could find something super similar. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> um, and then I just pair them with my little, my little Uggs. These are the mini, ultra mini, I think they're called. Um, usually I wouldn't wear these socks. I'd probably wear like some white socks and just fold them over, but these are the Nike ones. But yeah, this is my, pretty much my fall weekend outfit, like every weekend. Just switch the sweater and switch the jacket. And then I always just wear like black leggings. But yeah, I wanted to show you that t-shirt because I do think it is definitely like a good quality. It's a little bit thicker. And you could tell it's just well made. So this is a white, kind of like partial turtleneck. Um, is it a mock neck? I don't know. Um, Bodysuit. And this is from H&M. The pants 
are older. They are from Zara. I don't believe they have them anymore, but you can definitely find so many leather look leggings literally everywhere. H&M has a ton. Um, and then the boots are just from Nordstrom. I got them a few years ago. They're like Sam Edelman or Edelman. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, but for the bodysuit, it is just a tiny bit see-through, so just be aware of that. I would wear like a nude colored bra. Like you could see my necklace through my shirt, but, but yeah, I just think it's super cute. I did get a medium because I find I have a longer torso and I find when I buy like my actual size, which would be extra small or small, um, it just like pulls so much at the bottom and I hate that. So I purposely bought a medium so that it would be super comfortable and it is. And then I'll just show you how I would pair this because I wouldn't be able to go without a jacket in a Canadian fall. So this is just a plaid shirt that I got off of Amazon. I actually cannot find it anymore. You know when you go buy something and you go to your orders, like it's just not showing. It's like, oops, sorry, doesn't exist. I'm like, literally just got it. But yeah, this is just an Amazon shirt. It's like warm enough, but I would say this is not really a shacket. It's more a shirt for sure. But yeah, I would just pair it with something like this. Just for like a normal kind of afternoon stroll. But um, do be aware, this is ribbed, the shirt. But it is the type of material that I feel like could snag super easily. So just keep that in mind. Just be careful when you're like, if you're wearing earrings or something, it could snag pretty easily. All right, so this is a wrap bodysuit that I got from Abercrombie. I really like it. I think it's super cute. I did get the shade in taupe. Um, there are two taupes though, so be aware. There's one that's more of like a gray taupe, which is this one, and then there's one that's more like a brown, which I normally would go for, but I just feel like I have so much of that color that I wanted something a little bit different. And then these pants are these Sloan wide leg pants. And I believe they're Sloan tailored curb love because I do have kind of like bigger thighs and hips. So I wanted a little bit of room. And actually I did get a size 26 and I feel like there is room. Like I maybe could have sized down to a 25, but I'm happy I have the 26 because when I sit down, I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel like restricted so I'm glad I have just a little bit of room but I thought these were super cute and I did get them in a size sorry like I said 26 but a 26 regular you can get short or you can get long and I am quite short I'm about 5'3 maybe even a little shorter but I do have a tiny bit of a heel and these just are like Everlane booties but yeah so these are a size 26 regular in the Sloan tailored curb love pant and then I'll just show you the jacket I got also so this is a Sherpa jacket and I got this from Abercrombie also and this <coughs> excuse me sorry I just had a little coughing fit there um yeah this is a nice kind of like Sherpa material super soft super soft it has the tortoise kind of buttons that are a little bit lighter and then on the inside it's like fur lined which is super comfy and cozy and it also has that fur lining on the inside so i just think it's super super comfortable and cute i'd probably not wear it with this because this is more dressy I'd probably wear a little bit of a dressier coat but i just thought this was super cute and i would wear this for sure it's like a hoodie leggings just like on a comfy, casual day if we were going for a walk or something. Um, but yeah, it's nice and warm. And <clears throat> I remember seeing Brianna Fox wear this last year and I really loved it. And it stayed in my mind ever since. It was sold out all the time last year. And yeah, so there it is. And I got everything 15% off and then I had used a code as well. So. I'm not sure if that deal is still going on, but it was pretty awesome. So 
that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed the try on portion of the video. So that is the conclusion of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And let me know what you want to see next. I think next we will have the Dior Nightwalk palette, which is that kind of silvery gold. I did figure that was the closest one I could find to the newest Chanel um, holiday palette, but I cannot find it anywhere. So yeah, if you wanted to see that, then just stay tuned. That'll be coming up on my channel. Thank you again. I love you. Bye.